you've now seen quite a variety of different select statements in SQL. The space of all select statements can be described using a grammar diagram, which shows all of the different alternative choices that you can make along the way. So here's the top half of the diagram for a select statement, and here's the bottom half. So they join right here. This line is the same as this line. And this circle is the same as that circle. This is the only way I could fit it on the slide. So what this says is that you have an option of starting with with or not. So you can have with and then a common table expression and then comma and then another common table expression. And when you're done with your with clause, then you start with select. And select describes columns and then it can include a from or a where or a group by etc. And let's see if we can understand how much of this we actually know how to use. You say select, we know about that. I didn't talk about distinct and all, but those are options that you can read about on your own. And then result column are the expressions that describe each column in the result. The from clause can list multiple different tables separated by commas and will join them together. Here you can see it's also possible to put a subquery within the from clause, and we didn't do that at all, but occasionally you see that, although often it's clearer if you use a with in order to define whatever you'd put here as a subquery. There's also something called a join clause, which we didn't talk about. It's only different from joining with comma if you have missing values in your table. Okay, where we now understand, and group by we understand as well. So you can see, if you say group, you must say by, and then you can separate multiple expressions by commas, you can say having and an expression, or you can skip the having clause entirely. Okay, now we're down here. The only thing we left out was that it's possible to enumerate values in a table directly, which we never did in this class, because instead, we just used union in order to select multiple different values by their expression or result column. There's also intersection and uh, set difference operator here if you want to read more about SQL. But we'll just focus on union in this class. And we also learned how to order by. One last thing that we skipped out on was limiting the number of results. So you can say I only want 10 results, and you can say I only want 10 results, skipping the first 10. And that's what limit and offset do. Usually they're used when you have quite a large table and you don't want to deal with all of the results. So this diagram came from the SQLite documentation, and you can see that we've covered most of what happens within a select statement.